Hey guys, shout out to Kyle. Um, he wanted me to make a little tutorial on how to alley and maybe pop shove it. We'll see how this goes, because if you can't tell, my skateboard is buried under a bunch of shit. I haven't used it recently. So... <clears throat> See if I can even do any tricks on this thing. All right, so the ollie. Um, the ollie is one of the most basic tricks you learn in skateboarding. But at the same time, it's also one of the most important because all your tricks really are, you know, derived from the ollie. You can't do a shove it without an ollie. You can't kick flip without an ollie. I mean, some people you could argue you could tray flip without an ollie. But really, I don't think you can. So I'm going to try and give you the basics on how to ollie because really it's a fundamental trick that you need to learn in order to start progressing as a skateboarder. So let's give it a shot. All right, so the ollie, here's your board. Um, feet setup is pretty, uh, it varies based on what you're doing. You know, normally if I'm trying to ollie higher, my foot goes farther back just because angles and stuff, you know, if your foot's here, the board can go like that as opposed to being like that. If, you're, if your foot's forward, you can drag it a lot higher. Um, so starting out, I'd go maybe middle of the board, middle front. And your back foot should either be fully on the tail or like half on, half off. It kind of, I mean, I found sometimes half on, half off lets me get more pop because I, I, I feel like I just have better control popping it to the ground. So that's where your foot stance should be. You kind of want it to be in the middle. You don't want it to be at like this end or that end. That'll promote you know, barrel rolling of the board. Um, so that's kind of, that's the placement really. Keep your foot uh, perpendicular to the board. Don't angle it. That's for kick flips. You know heel flips. So yeah, that's the placement. And now for as far as execution of the trick, really, let's the down here. Okay, so the whole basis of the alley is that the board's popping, going up, and then coming back down like this. And so what happens is your left foot smacks the board down, which causes it to fly up in the air. And the reason it flattens out and comes down is because when it's up, your left foot scrapes up, carrying the board up and then flattens out, flattening it out, and smacking it back down again. So like, what I found, is yeah, a good way to teach people how to really get like, the feel for that they need to smack the board down, is just to take the left foot and to just, just smack. You get the feeling of, I almost hit my dad's car. You get the feeling that like, you need to actually smack the board down. Because nothing's gonna happen if you don't forcibly Smack that board down on the ground. So I'll get a better shot going over here. What happens is when it pops, it goes up, your left foot comes, drags it, and it goes over. So like that. Excuse the rustiness I haven't skated in eight months. That's a general thing. All right, let's get some uh, side shots now. So if you notice, my left foot is scraping up into the side. So it's like going like this and popping it, and then you kind of kick your foot out. And when you first start doing it, you'll find you'll get a lot of this. You're smacking the board down. And I mean, that just comes with learning, you know? That's what I and so then as you progress, you're, uh, you'll start learning that your foot needs to stay up longer. And you bend it. And you get more pop. trick I find that helps to get more height with your alleys is you go like this 
and the second your foot touches the ground, or the second the tail touches the ground, you want to jump. Because that way, when you jump, you're in the air and you're not keeping the board from coming up like this. If you don't jump, all you're going to get is this. So what really helps is if the second your tail touches the ground, you jump. Get some bite on the board. There you go, that's the alley. Now the pop shove it. Basically this. Pretty surprised I landed that to be honest. So it's, uh, it's when the board rotates 180 degrees. And it's best to try this trick standing still first. Because obviously you don't want to eat shit when you're moving. And it's all on the left foot. Your right foot's nothing but, your right foot's doing nothing, literally. Your left foot, put it where you want. It doesn't really matter. And the action, as I like to say, is you're trying to paint a half circle on the bottom of your tail. So your foot should be popping it down and kicking it backwards. Kind of like that. So if you paint a half circle, you get it going. Just like that. Uh, I don't really know how else to, uh, I don't really know how else to explain this trick, except when you do it, you, can, you, you kind of want to jump forward a little bit. Is moving in that direction. So you're, you're not, the board's not going to stay underneath you. The board's not going to do this. The board's going to do that. So you also need to jump forward to catch the board. And it's very, uh, it usually looks stylish if you catch it with your front foot. That's called a front foot catch. But uh, I'll give an example of some of the styles. Some people catch with both feet. Like that. Doing this way. I prefer people don't like that style. I prefer catching with my front foot. So that way you can land back on the board a lot smoother than your other person there. Just like that. Um, that's really it.